What is up? What is up? What is up, guys? Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, guys. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to another Saturday Night Live uh, stream here. Um, yeah, I know I'm like all over the place today. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Sorry for the wait. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What is up? What is up? It's showtime. It's showtime. 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 <laughs> what is up guys what up what up what up how you doing how you doing let's call them out before we get right off into the news topics here so we got zonex haven how you doing welcome to the stream beverly carter how you doing welcome to the stream um let's see who else we have uh pikachu fan how you doing welcome to the stream uh who else we got omarion how you doing welcome to the stream uh crash how you doing welcome to the stream um nin low how you doing welcome to the stream dash wolf how you doing welcome to the stream uh see who else courage x how you doing man i see you bro how you doing welcome to the stream um jesse how you doing welcome to the stream how you doing best gaming how you doing welcome to the stream kevin how you doing welcome to the stream uh ax2215 welcome to the stream um kevin how you doing welcome to the stream david how you doing welcome to the stream um <clears throat> crash how you doing welcome to the stream vj star how you doing welcome to the stream all right all right nintendo how you doing welcome to the stream so we got a banging show for you guys today we got a lot of stuff to go over including the youtube app that is coming to the nintendo switch on november 8th now the hype is definitely real for the youtube app i think what a lot of people really want is netflix and of course we don't really know if netflix is you know coming out this year it might be sometime next year but apparently they're actually waiting on nintendo to make that make that happen here but what's so really interesting about this whole situation is that we don't know if it's going to be basic youtube like you know you could just search for something and watch or can you i'm pretty sure you might be able to watch live streams but i don't think uh nintendo is going to incorporate anything as far as streaming like streaming your switch games on youtube from your nintendo switch that would be dope but i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon here because nintendo is kind of really against people live streaming their games or whatnot which is kind of crazy to me because it's more publicity for them but i'm still hype nonetheless for this youtube app coming to the nintendo switch on november 8th so that's literally uh next week right so yeah the hype is definitely real for that what are you guys thoughts on the youtube app coming to the nintendo switch i'm like finally after a whole year and changes that's nintendo for you you know they take their little time to you know get certain things out there but the ceo for netflix basically stated that um you know they're just waiting on nintendo right now the app is pretty much done they're just waiting on nintendo to give you know the approval or whatnot so i would say maybe the next nintendo direct or so they might introduce netflix but we really do need those features on the switch i mean we're used to it it was on the wii u <laughs> so i don't see why they can't bring netflix to the switch um <clears throat> But YouTube live streaming from your Switch to YouTube what? on the app would be really dope. But who knows if that's going to happen. How you going? Not so pro uh, studio. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the support. Um, <clears throat> Marlon, where is the stage builder in Smash Ultimate? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, a lot. Of, we're going to get off into the whole Smash fiasco after this. But how do you guys feel about YouTube coming to... Uh, the nintendo switch and what are some of the features that some of you guys would would like to see um on the nintendo switch and then of course we're gonna jump on this supposedly rumored um dlc fighters that got leaked out or whatever or they're saying they're getting information from a trusted source and this is from verge bin a lot of people trust verge bin so we're gonna go over that um <clears throat> now the focus should be on netflix for switch yes i uh, can't wait to watch 
Marlon on my switch. Oh man, thank you so much for the support on that. Um, how you doing? Welcome, uh, Clow, if I'm Clo, if I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Finally, uh, YouTube is uh, coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes. Um, how you doing, H Dog? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm telling you, assist trophies will be characters. Okay. Um, I want YouTube and Netflix on Switch. Okay most definitely that's pretty much what everybody wants at this um moment um able to record uh getting to watch you on switch will be awesome thank you so much for that um youtube live streaming will be will be really amazing um i know i, I hope the leaks are real now so we got the the big elephant out the room let's jump off into this actual potential leak here now this is from verge bin okay and he's basically stating that minecraft steve is coming as dlc now it's supposedly three characters right because we only get in five at this present moment now there's talks about a grand uh blue fantasy character so I'm guessing that's the Square Enix rep that um, has been heavily rumored. Honestly, I would love whatever this grand blue fantasy character is. I would love to have Sora instead. If we're going to have a Square Enix character, just give me Sora, Daddy Sakurai. Just give me Sora. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful that we're actually getting five DLC characters. I'm actually one of the ones that are happy with what we have we have 80 fighters uh including the piranha plant now there's a lot of hate surrounding the piranha plant and a lot of people was just like nah that's stupid why the piranha plant why couldn't be another fighter and people just complain people are threatening daddy sakurai and this man put his heart and soul into smash period just for us just so that we can have smash bros to play and people are still being hypocritical people are still being greedy people are still being selfish threatening this man saying oh no that's not enough you know we need more characters i mean come on guys we got ken which was pretty obvious we know the grinch leak was sort of fake or whatnot but who knows the grinch leak might be real you know i mean it might just show up out of those five dlc characters we might get some of those grinch uh leak characters in the dlc i mean we already got ken ken was mentioned in there you know and then i don't think incineroar was uh mentioned in the grinch league no he wasn't out of the seven no he was not mentioned in there so there's a lot of characters that i know people still want people still want gino people still want skull kid even though the chances of skull kid making it in smash at this point is pretty much very slim right um so the thing is what i'm trying to point out is that we need to just be satisfied we got 80 characters 80 now the story mode a lot of people are upset about the story mode and saying that oh you know the story mode is not like subspace or it's not like adventure mode people just complaining and complaining and complaining like when when people do something new or when nintendo does something new people complain if they go back to the older stuff people complain so at this point what i'm trying to point out here is that we have to give sakurai a break after this sakurai needs a long vacation all together i mean this man needs to rest he put his heart and soul he even elaborated on that during the stream so i don't know what character um is next here but apparently it's the grand blue fantasy character and then also we're hearing about minecraft steve and i believe there's also another character as well and no it's not banjo it's apparently a third party character so i don't know which other third party character that could possibly be and there's talking about um some sort of disney character so i'm guessing sora right because i did they're mentioning uh disney stuff here so i'm guessing it's going to be Sora. i'm happy with sora if it's if it's sora minecraft steve i can care less for but give me sora okay and whatever other character that this rumor is saying but 
chances are take this with a truckload of salt because it's not really direct as far as like which characters which only thing we know is minecraft steve and grand blue fantasy star character so i don't know it's it's all over the place what do you guys think about this supposedly trust trustable source uh leaked information here regarding uh the, the dlc fighters or whatnot because i don't believe we're gonna get any dlc stuff until probably early next year sometime up in next year a little bit maybe about five six months after the game comes out they might you know give us a dlc but i'm actually happy with what we currently have right now and also i want to ask you guys this main question here sorry for the, the the brain pause um what do you guys think about the fighter pass i think the fighter pass is worth it for the price that they're actually selling it for so let me know in the comments how do you guys feel about that uh the disney character is goofy now i think i don't know i don't really know how to feel about that honestly i don't really know how to feel about that right now um i personally <clears throat> wouldn't like sora okay Trust me, I'm I'm Grinch. Okay, uh, I'm happy with Sora. Honestly, Minecraft Steve, and then this Grand Blue uh, Fantasy Star, and then the other character that they were talking about was Rex. Now we already have sort of a, a Rex rep in there with the me with the me costume. So I don't really know if we're gonna get a Rex in there, but I can see where Daddy Sakurai was trying to reference. You know. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles in the game a lot like he was trying to reference a lot of the characters in there or whatnot so who knows I don't think you know we're gonna actually get Rex as a playable fighter um yes 25 bucks is real um for the price okay 40 bucks okay it's worth it it's worth it absolutely the fighter pass is worth it okay cool beans i think the pass is worth it i'm biased and i love smash period okay i pre-ordered the golden how many of you guys picked up the nintendo switch how many guys picked it up um i'm calling it i could be wrong uh 2b is coming to smash as dlc Okay, uh, Tron, laugh out loud, Marlin for Smash, and Etika as Echo Fighter. <laughs> um, I wouldn't care if any of these characters get in. Exactly, like it's kind of all over the place because on one hand, we're hearing about Minecraft Steve. Now we've been hearing so much rumors and speculation about Minecraft Steve. So at this point, it's kind of up in the air. Maybe assist trophy, but not a unique fighter. I just know. And in this grand blue character, and in this Disney reference, and then also the Square Enix rep. So it's kind of all over the place. Nothing real direct and concrete here. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, yes, we didn't get Gino, and a lot of people was upset because honestly, I knew Ken was gonna get revealed. I knew Ken was gonna get revealed, honestly, and um, it was just. A shocker to see in Sinu War. Like I, I thought, okay, you was gonna give us Ken, and then we we're gonna get um, a whole different character. Like, give us Gino or something like that. But that's you know that's the typical pattern. I was going into it expecting one unique and one Echo Fighter. A lot of people was going into it expecting a whole bunch of characters. But guys, we have to remember that Daddy Sakurai pretty much sat down with Famitsu and basically state that we're not going to get a whole lot of reveals. He's going to slow down the reveals of characters. Now, this Direct was one of the best. I don't know what a lot of people was talking about because a lot of people was upset with this Direct you know saying all kind of different stuff oh the direct wasn't really all that good and why because they didn't get a lot of you know character reveals and you can't smash is not just all about the characters it's all about other things as well you know what i'm saying the online how does the online work and even though he stressed about the ethernet adapter get that i mean there was a lot of work done with the online of course you still can talk on the phone which is ridiculous i don't know why it's not on the switch where you could just plug in your microphone and talk to people but the ping as far as how it works with the connection and things like that is is improved or whatnot so hopefully you know we have much more uh better experience as far as the online but i'm happy with how he talked about the online and the different changes as far as that is concerned now i believe the campaign is called or the story mode is called world of light 
now how do you guys feel about world of light are you guys happy with it you guys wanted something like a subspace or do you guys what? wanted something like melee-ish oh but i feel God. like it that seems like smash tore a little bit i don't know it, it's just it's it's kind of weird how the board setup is i i think people really wanted something with a cut scene and uh you know like maybe some dialogue or something like that something a little bit more flushed out and straightforward um but i'm happy with it regardless i'm not complaining i'm happy with it regardless of 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 what we end up getting the fact of the matter is smash is now complete with 80 characters 105 stages if i'm not mistaken we got the piranha plant which is amazing i'm happy with that the music uh the graphics the game actually looks a lot better than how it was looking in my opinion during the e3 bill and during the other one so daddy sakurai is definitely put in a lot of work as far as the game is concerned graphically so i'm happy with that um <clears throat> a lot of people are salty about world of light but honestly oh kirby is gonna be the new hero really so what if kirby is the new hero of the story mode like i don't understand you can't please people you can't make them happy but i think it's 100 percent dope if you ask me um hey marlon uh you think dante okay is gonna be in the game uh no i don't think so i'm just happy we got a story mode me too i'm happy if i miss your question just recycle it okay um i want uh piranha plant so badly well you're gonna have to preload the game you're gonna have to i think preload the digital version and as well as the physical version i think if you pre-order it you can get a chance to get piranha plant i'm happy with piranha plant to be honest a lot of people are like piranha plant piranha plant no that's just crazy but i'm happy with it i'm actually happy with piranha plant um i need dante and smash otherwise who will beat up bayonetta um i don't know i don't I mean it could happen i mean nintendo has a very good relationship with capcom so i mean it could happen but i don't know i mean it's possible um i i'm not gonna give up hope on banjo kazooie i'm not gonna give up hope because banjo kazooie could be in one of those five dlc fighters you know what i'm saying so hey that's what i'm saying on that one world of light should be called infinity war instead <laughs> uh marlon look you can buy smash before it's uh, um out yeah the bundle you can buy the bundle um do you think we'll get any more stages um it's possible as dlc yeah i would say we, we could get some more stages uh that's not the problem so we can we can get more stages uh piranha plant is gonna destroy people that's what i'm saying people sleeping on that piranha man people sleeping on that piranha plant um <clears throat> Love Mario franchise. Happy to be able to get a game and play. Uh, Piranha did that. Okay, I'm. <laughs> I'm truly appreciate Daddy Sakurai. Yes, I truly appreciate this man. He needs a vacation. This man put his heart and soul into this game. Okay, and people are still being ungrateful. Like people are still being ungrateful, and I just, I just don't understand. Like seriously like come on now i need y'all to be get happy goku is not gonna happen okay i'm telling y'all that right now goku is not gonna happen uh piranha plant will be top sure you know i do agree sakurai you wanted banjo adds minecraft steve instead please don't say minecraft steve i don't want minecraft steve anthony rudd how you doing man uh welcome to the stream uh you will probably have to pay for piranha after january marlin okay we are as dlc five more stages haha <laughs> okay piranha plant is waluigi's pet i say that because of the chip on the pot uh at the bottom oh okay um you could get piranha plant in the physical and digital once you have the nintendo account they will give you the code there you go i had i do have a nintendo account so i'll be able to get get the code and everything like that um hey uh marlon sakurai needs a two-year vacation most definitely i think he needs longer than that just to lay off smash for right now and i'm missing a new kid Icarus game so we definitely need that I'm kind of tired of Smash right now, so I think after Smash, he needs to take a long break. I don't think we're going to get another Smash game for at least for another 
four or five years and i'll be happy with that because this game is packed with so many characters that we can ever want everybody is back plus new characters so come on what more do we want don't tell me waluigi okay don't tell me waluigi <laughs> um I love all the Mario characters in Smash. I will support all the Mario characters. Hey Marlon, are you going to travel with your Switch challenging people in the streets in Smash? Hey, you know what? I think that will be I think that will be something to do. That will be something to do. Uh, most definitely. But make sure you guys take part in the Smash Ultimate giveaway. Giveaway ends on the 6th and I'll be dropping the code. We probably will have multiple versions of the um the game or whatnot to give away to you guys, okay? So I might give away, I don't know, I might do a, a physical one, it all depends, or I might just do it all digital, it all depends on what happens here. But either way, we're going to be giving away multiple copies of the game. Uh, how you doing, Jeff? Welcome to the stream. Um, now, yes, they're adding YouTube on November 8th. That's what they're saying right now. Smash Ultimate will beat Fortnite. I don't think beat Fortnite as far as what? I think as far as sales, I don't think so. Because Fortnite is on every platform. It's on mobile phones. It's on everything. I mean, seriously. Like, it's on it's on every single device that you can think of known to man. So I don't think Smash is going to outsell um, Fortnite if you're re reference, uh, referencing to that. Um, Smash Ultimate will beat um, Fortnite. Okay, I read that already. Uh, Banjo for Smash. Okay, cool. Um, Minecraft Steve could bring younger fans. That is true. That is true. And I can see that happening because a lot of younger kids will definitely jump into Smash because not everybody loves Smash. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I can see why Sakurai would really like think of bringing Minecraft Steve to the Smash universe, even though a lot of people. I mean, would be salty. Honestly, I don't care for Minecraft, Steve. But I mean, if he's in the game, we just gotta accept it. Just like we gotta accept Piranha Plant, right? Um, if they add a Fortnite character to Smash, they will uh, get more. Man, no, no, no. We don't need no Fortnite characters. I mean, yes, it would sell because people who actually play Fortnite will actually pick up a copy of Smash just to play as that character. So you're right, but nah, I don't think there's, there's going to be any uh, Fortnite character at all in Smash. Uh, Steve could be a, a other skins. That is true. That is true. Um, hey Marlon, did you know Verge Bin comes out? with some dlc news yeah 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 i just talked about that a while ago just talked about it he's basically stating that um minecraft steve could be one of them and then also a grand blue fantasy uh character that should be supposedly in the game and then we're hearing stuff about a disney character and and things like that or a, or a square enix character so my guess is definitely sora like i would love to have sora uh nah i rather have banjo kazooie as dlc that's what i'm saying banjo if banjo make it in in as dlc boy i would lose my mind honestly um no skin for smash uh no fortnite in smash ultimate yes no fortnite uh fortnite is not nintendo exactly even though they have a, a fortnite bundle because it's it is making a lot of money but i don't think it, I don't think Daddy Sakurai will go as far as having that particular character in the game. I'm just saying, like, mm -mm. um, Fox McCloud might keep. Uh, Fortnite doesn't have any characters, only skins. There is difference between the two. Exactly. Chung Lee for Smash. She is. Uh, nah. I don't think we're gonna get any more Street Fighter references. I am thankful that we have Ken and Ryu. I'm happy with that um what's this about youtube coming to switch so apparently youtube uh was pretty much the youtube app situation was leaked out on a uh, nintendo of america website and media apps so far you know what we have is obviously hulu but you know they're basically stating that we're going to be getting youtube on november 8th so that's next week so i'm hyped for that the, the, the million dollar question is will you be able to stream from your switch 
through the app or would you be able to watch live streams i don't see why you wouldn't be able to watch live streams on your switch i think that would just be ludicrous but hey the hype is real for youtube on switch what are your thoughts on uh trophies not being in the game and spirits taking their place honestly the whole spirits thing was sort of a hit or miss for me i didn't like the spirits situation you know once he explained the whole situation this spirit is stronger than this spirit you have like three different spirits uh i think you have attack shield and something else i just the way how the whole breakdown is was pretty boring to me so yeah the whole spirits idea the rumors were true man some some of these rumors we gotta take um with less of a grain of assault because some of these rumors are true regarding the spirits mode because remember they were able to kind of scan through the blurry part of that of that blurred out part where sakurai blurred out and it, it was it was indeed spirits and the story now is affiliated with spirits so i mean at this point we don't really have a choice but to get used to this whole spirits idea because that's the direction that uh daddy sakurai wanted to take with smash ultimate and you know what i'm happy with that a lot of people are salty but no i'm good with that because at the end of the day it shows creativity at the end of the day it shows that nintendo and daddy sakurai and sora and bandai namco is trying to give us something totally different on the table here so i'm hyped for it either way it goes um steve would be amazing he would be like uh mr game and watch uh i guess i guess you i guess you're right uh, when are you going to host the Smash Tournament again? I'm going to try to host the Smash Tournament around the time. If you guys are on Discord, you guys can help me set up the tournament, the brackets and stuff like that. Because the winner of that would be able to win a game as well. And then, of course, we have the standard giveaway that's going on on the channel as well. Um, I think the YouTube thing will be able to stream. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think YouTube thing would be great for Switch. Like, yeah, it would be great for Switch if you could stream, uh, like how the, how it is with the PS4. I think it would be dope, but only time will tell. We know how Nintendo is when it comes to their, their games and whatnot, streaming their games and trying to make money off their games. Uh, Piranha Plant Amiibo is amazing. Yes, it is. Um, what about Masterpieces? Okay. Uh, Will we see another character in cutscenes? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I do think so. Um, expanded to phones. Hmm, that's interesting. Anything uh, from Splatoon 2? Yeah, we didn't really get much of anything regarding Splatoon 2, to be honest with you. And we're going to go over the Black Friday deals. All right, so anybody hyped for Black Friday? I forgot about that topic. I got just got choked up and yoked up on talking about smash you know and then we still got to go over the whole konami situation with pt one of the scariest um games if it, a lot of people don't know about pt but pt is pretty much a silent hill remake and pretty much uh konami confirms that there's been no game um locking update pushing out for pt so they're not going to be updating this pt situation or whatnot and people misunderstood that but that was a game that i really wanted konami to make because they, that game is just lit all together so we're gonna go over the black friday 2018 deals boys and girls are you ready and i will be doing a dedicated video covering all the deals now this is target.com and pretty much when it comes to the consoles they're pretty much the same price all the way across the board because it's actually coming from the company so here are the deals now you can get a nintendo switch with mario kart 8 for 2.99 Okay, so it includes the Switch console with Mario Kart 8 game built in plus dock and left and right Joy-Cons and more. Okay, so we got that. Now, this is a real good steal here. Now, listen to this. You can get a PlayStation 4 one terabyte with Spider-Man for $199. $199. So 200 bucks for a Spider-Man and a PS4 Slim. Not the Pro, but the Slim. I think that's a great deal. So if you haven't picked up a Nintendo Switch yet, you can get the Mario Kart 8 bundle for $299, or you can pick up the Smash bundle, I believe, is for $359, 
or you can get the um, Diablo 3 bundle as well so I mean it's, it's sort of like a toss up there on which one you should go with I mean it's pretty much a preference as far as the games are concerned if you like Diablo if you love Smash which everybody loves Smash right so the Smash bundle for me uh, it just looked too plain in my opinion uh, but I think that that's some really good deals there uh, also there's some game deals now I want to talk about there's also another Nintendo uh, deal here it's the Super Mario Maker 3DS so it's like the slim 3ds not the, the clamshell design but it's going for $79 now I think that's a very good deal there also they got overwatch NBA 2 I oh, not what's not that not NBA 2k but NBA live uh, they have what's this um Star Wars Battlefront 2 PUBG uh, Skyrim Doom Evil Within all those games are $15 which I think is a steal and uh, they have PS4 and Xbox One controllers for 39 bucks which is really good this is Target and Black Ops 4 for $45 uh, they have God of War Crash Bandicoot uh, Far Cry 5 Call of Duty um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. This is for PS4 and all that for $25. So those games are really good deals. $35 each. Uh, of course, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We have NHL, Forza Horizon, We Happy Few, and Soul Calibur for $35. And Soul Calibur like literally just came out. So I'm thinking that you know that's a very good deal uh, for those particular games there. And of course, you get $10 off the Xbox Live Gold membership. So that's that's really awesome. Doors open up at 5 p.m. for um, you know Target's uh, you know Black Friday deal there. So I think 2.99 for a Switch, you know, with Mario Kart 8. I think that's a steal if you haven't played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe yet. And a Spider-Man deal with one terabyte for 200 bucks. And I believe there's a Xbox One deal with Minecraft. I don't know why they're still pushing Minecraft. I guess Minecraft is still making Microsoft a lot of money for $200. So what do you thought so far on Target's Black Friday deal? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other deals, but as far as the consoles are concerned, they're pretty much the same price. Um, Xbox X is going to be $100 less, so it's going to be $399 instead of $499. Um, I am doing Black Friday online more risk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, most definitely. Uh, Marlon, where is the stage builder? Honestly, you know who knows. I mean, he might bring it. He might bring it back, guys. We might. We might end up with with stage builder. It might just happen. You know. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What what other comments you guys have for me? Um. Let's see what else y'all have. What is that? What's that supposed to be referenced into? Um, okay, I was trying to figure out what was that reference into. Um, Marlon, do you think it would be cool if they made a Super Smash Bros. collection? Wait, Marlon, they didn't talk about the stage builder in the direct. Yeah. I mean, they didn't talk about it, but I mean, they could bring it back, you know. Um, hey, Marlon, when is Nintendo going to announce all the big AAA titles for the Switch? I think at the Game Awards, we might get some stuff, um, you know, regarding that. Like, yeah, they might save all the big reveals like Bayonetta, you know, um, the new Pokemon. Not, I don't think we're going to get the, anything on the new Pokemon yet. Being that Let's Go is coming out this time around. So it might be next year, but I, I want to see something on Metroid Prime 4 and Bayonetta 3. I'll be happy with that. Um, it's called Ball Points or something like that. Yeah. Uh, the world of light music is lit. Most definitely. Yes, it is. Fortnite for Smash would expand the Smash community. That's the only reason why I want Fortnite and Smash. A lot of people want Fortnite and Smash. Sweet Christmas. Um... Who do you want as the? I want Banjo Kazooie. If I can get Banjo Kazooie and possibly Gino, I'd be happy for DLC characters. I'd be happy with that. Uh, Waluigi's not coming. Just give that up. Just give that up. I mean, I don't know why people are still talking about that, but that's not gonna happen. Just be honest with ourselves here. 
Um, Marlon, do you think we'll get DLC uh, for World of Light? Uh, no, I, th I don't think we're going to get any no, any story DLC. I don't think so. Um, any more questions, guys? Any more questions? Any more questions? Um... Yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna keep this one at a minimal today. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, um, Sora makes sense because Kingdom Hearts three is one month after Smash Ultimate. Exactly. Um, imagine if they announced Waluigi at the Game Awards. Yeah, right. That voice is good. Uh, do you think Shantae can be in it? Ah, no. no. I mean, there's really not a lot of huge sensational rush for her, you know? So I don't think so. But Banjo, most definitely. I'm leaning towards Banjo, to be honest with you. Um, I think uh, the Just Cause series should be on Switch. You know that game is is big and heavily like resource like heavily um, taxing on the CPU and the GPU. <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> mm, sorry about that. Um, Nensen, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, hey Marlon, do you think spirits deconfirm characters? Uh, no, no. Um, you think Bayonetta or Metroid is going to be? Yeah, I think both of those games might have, might might be revealed during that time. Um, G G O. Okay, how you doing, man? Um, ah, thank you, <laughs> thank y'all so much for the support. Uh, Minecraft story mode characters for Smash. Uh. No, nah, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen, guys. Trust and believe. I mean, I, th I just think that's just up in the air as far as how I see it. But I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here with this. Okay, there we go. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um. Yeah, if it happens around, if it happens at a good time, then I'll definitely stream it. Do you think um, Stage Builder could get re-added um, into Smash via DLC? Yeah, it's possible. Uh, yo, Marlon, what's good? Hey, what did I miss? Oh, you didn't really miss much, man. YouTube coming to the Switch um, on November 8th. We're talking about some potential Verge Bin. Uh, Smash DLC leaks um, and also Black Friday uh, 2018. From Chrono, from Chrono Trigger, uh, there's not really a lot of hype regarding that, so I don't think so. Uh, when will you come out with merch? Uh, merch, actually, um, <laughs> to be honest with you, my girlfriend, she was working on the logo I think it's already done so I'm gonna ask her about that and then we're gonna start coming out with merch <laughs> um, and we're gonna make it affordable for everybody to cop a switch gang nation um, logo shirt or a hat or whatnot uh, so yeah always questioning gaming real soon man uh, uh, nice nice man love your vids hey thank you so much man appreciate the support uh, all of a sudden that came out of nowhere <laughs> i can't wait for super mario odyssey dlc yeah me too me too most deaf on that one um any more questions guys any more questions for me um any more questions any more questions for me uh they should do bayonetta 3 direct like the other bayonetta direct can't wait for uh, Super Mario Odyssey DLC next year. Most definitely. 
Isaac for DLC character. Yep, Verge Bin did say uh, there will be some kind of uh, Minecraft representation. Yep, uh, I mean, representation, it might just be, um, to be honest, maybe skin or I don't know. Or maybe a trophy or something, an assist trophy, something like that. Maybe, maybe it's like some costumes for your me or something like that. That's what that's what I'm thinking. Um, Marlon, uh, Marlon, who do you prefer, Mario or Sonic? That man, you put me in a very tough situation. I would say Mario. I love Sonic, but Mario. Yeah, Mario for me. Um, I tweet your, I tweeted you about a Nintendo Direct. Oh, really? Okay, let's check it out real quick. Uh, let's check that out. Uh, let me see something. Uh, the World of Light cutscene is table. It's called Galim. Okay, in Japan, it's trailer made a killer. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, a lot of tweets here that I haven't, like, really, you know, looked over. What? What's your favorite game on the in Nintendo 64? My favorite game on the Nintendo 64 was um, GoldenEye 007. Yep, that was one of my favorite games. Uh, Marlon, what you uh will do when the game boy console man i'll go crazy honestly i'll go crazy um either way M microsoft is on board we're probably getting banjo exactly exactly the same thing i said too um same thing i said too uh Marlon, do you think we we can uh, platform like subspace? Uh, it don't seem like you can, but hey, I'm not gonna just step out and say that. But uh, it seems like you can. Uh, hey, Marlon, I have a question. When they're going to announce Rainway app? See, I think the Rainway app is still under development for Switch, and I think um, it's really up to Nintendo at the end of the day to really like approve something like that but i think it would be dope to have the rainway app on there um is it true sony bought microsoft no it's that's no there's no way so so microsoft got more money than sony there's no way uh marlon do you think they sh uh, should make a melee hd for switch um I mean, at this point with Smash coming out, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it happening though. It would have to be way before the you know Smash comes out to kind of build up the hype. But I mean, anything is possible. Uh, what's your favorite game of 2018? Pick five at least. Oh man, yeah, y'all are putting me on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Five. Red Dead Redemption that's number one okay smash is not out yet that's number two spider-man god of war and man one more game oh uh, man one more game um uh, i'm trying to see i'm trying to see um I don't I know no I'm, I'm trying to decide on that last game I'm still trying to decide I'm trying to decide guys honestly hey Marlon uh, you would like Rainway uh, app uh, come to the switch most definitely it will be dope uh, do you think the story mode will at least be two players I think it will be fun if it's two players um, 
what is your favorite skin in Fortnite? I don't really have a favorite skin to be honest. I just rock with the default to be honest with you guys. Um, how do you feel that Sega is already trying to release Dreamcast games on Switch and Nintendo is barely uh, scratch, uh, scratch the surface? I think having Dreamcast games on Switch is, is, is phenomenal to be honest with you and then Sega doing the same thing. I think that's dope because it just expands the library of things that we can do. I mean the Switch has so many games. Indie stuff and of course AAA first party Nintendo stuff and of course third party stuff as well. So I mean it's kind of up in the air. Uh, Joe how you doing man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Marlon do you think we'll get Melee Adventure mode and Brawl Subspace? Uh, pour it as um, DLC and Smash Ultimate. Oh, no. Nah, I think it's World of Light and that's it. I'm happy with that. Um, what was your favorite mini? Like mini, like classic edition console? Um, what is your favorite me costume from the Direct? I think the Rex one is my favorite one. Yeah. Do you see new gameplay of Smash Ultimate on Nintendo Japan YouTube channel? No, I haven't seen it yet. I heard about that, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, what mini games? Okay. Uh, Dreamcast might be why uh, the delay team um, Sonic Racing. Yeah, could be. Uh, I will enjoy using Piranha Plan if not to enjoy Humiliant and Mario Peach and Warrior and all the Yoshi players in addition I'm calling it uh, that we will get every character like we did in Brawl exactly um, we're getting Brawl right exactly Sakurai must take at least a two year vacation he needs it he was stressing that during the stream have you heard of Guns of Boom no I haven't heard of that yet Hey Marlon, do you play uh, simulator games? Yes, most definitely. Um, <clears throat> All right, guys. Any more questions? Uh, Marlon and Smash Bros. We'll see you, Manjo. What major Switch games do you regret buying the most? Mm, Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis Aces. I haven't touched that game in a long... Actually, I haven't touched my Switch in a while. Because I've just been busy making content and just been busy behind the scenes with other things. I've been playing my PS4 more than actually my Switch. But when Smash comes out, I'm going to be on that Switch almost every day, to be honest with y'all. Um, any more questions, guys? Any more questions? What's my favorite color? Green, red and green red and blue um all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night all right if y'all have any more questions feel free to drop it in the comment section down below uh but before i go be sure to make sure you have your notification bell on i will be coming up with something else real soon so appreciate the support love y'all and peace switch gang nation we out of here, baby. We are out of here. Peace.